it's truly a tragedy in the world of space exploration. SpaceX recently announced the loss of Falcon 9 Booster B-1058. The historic Falcon 9 Booster B-1058, a legend with 19 successful flights under its belt, has met an untimely end. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. S Just a few days ago, we celebrated its remarkable achievement as the fleet leader, having completed an impressive 19 flights. Little did we anticipate that this could mark the end of its journey. Booster B-1058 holds a special place in SpaceX's spaceflight history, not merely as a regular booster. It made history as the inaugural SpaceX Falcon 9 booster to embark on a crewed mission to space, soaring on the Demo-2 mission in May 2020. Subsequently, it accomplished 18 more missions, demonstrating incredible reliability and resilience. Among its notable flights were Crew Demo-2, Anisis-2, CRS-21, Transporter-1, Transporter-3, and an impressive 14 Starlink missions. Even during its last mission, Starlink-632, it showed no signs of weariness, a testament to its robustness. SpaceX pursued a daring fly until death strategy with its boosters, pushing them to their limits to explore their full potential. Some fans expressed disappointment over the handling of B-1058, suggesting it could have been preserved as a significant artifact. While it could have been a poignant symbol of humanity's return to space from American soil after the shuttle era, the loss was not due to any flaw in the booster itself, but rather due to the unpredictability of nature, in this case, the unforgiving forces of the sea. In a heart-wrenching announcement by SpaceX, the booster succumbed to high winds and waves toppling over while returning to port. Just a whisker away from hitting the incredible milestone of 20 flights, its journey concludes prematurely. Now, the baton passes to B-1060, set to carry on the legacy of reusable rockets. This booster soared through 18 prior launches, but newer Falcon boosters boast enhanced landing legs, designed to self-level and prevent such mishaps. A testament to SpaceX's continuous drive for innovation and improvement. SpaceX also promises that this tragedy will not happen again in the future. Newer Falcon boosters have upgraded landing legs with the capability to self-level and mitigate this type of issue the company shared. Absolutely, B-1058 will always hold a special place in SpaceX's journey. With its 19 triumphant launches and landings, it remains an incredible achievement. Its legacy of reliability and remarkable service will forever be honored and remembered in the annals of space exploration. Farewell to a true pioneer. This one reusable rocket booster alone launched to orbit two astronauts and more than 860 satellites, totaling 260-plus metric tons in around 3.5 years. SpaceX shared about the B-1058 achievement. For its maiden launch on May 30, 2020, the rocket propelled NASA astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken into the history books on SpaceX's first mission to send people into orbit. This ended a nine-year gap in America's capability to launch astronauts into low Earth orbit and was the first time a commercial spacecraft achieved this feat. At that time, the rocket was fresh from SpaceX's factory in Southern California glistening white in color with a bright red NASA worm logo emblazoned on the side. Over the course of its flights to space and back, that white paint has darkened to a charcoal color. The rocket from the rocket's exhaust has accumulated bit by bit on the 15-story tall cylinder-shaped booster. The red NASA worm logo is now barely visible. The final launch and landing AB-1058 happened on December 23rd. After taking off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida, the Falcon 9's first stage fired its nine kerosene-burning Merlin engines for about 2.5 minutes, accelerating the launch vehicle to more than 5,000 miles per hour or 8,000 kilometers per hour for my peeps over the pond. Then, as it had 18 times before, the booster released from the Falcon 9's upper stage, which fired a single engine to power the Starlink satellites into orbit. The Falcon 9 first stage landed on the drone ship just read the instructions about 8.5 minutes into the flight. Two burns of the rocket's second stage will put the 23 second generation Starlink satellites into orbit with deployments occurring about 1 hour and 5 minutes after launch. The drone ship then returned the rocket to Cape Canaveral where SpaceX planned to refurbish the vehicle for a 20th flight. Sadly, that is when it met its demise. At that point, B-1058 did lapse offshore south of Cape Canaveral atop the GRTI drone ship. We think that there is no urgency to deliver to the port, presumably, 
to give poor Cruz the day off today for Christmas. As it turns out, this was the first sign of the downfall of B-1058. Now we hope that SpaceX will bring her home, please. SpaceX will then certainly still aim for greater achievements. I see the flight rate can only occur if I can increase for reliability so that they're not competing entities. A SpaceX official shared with Ars Technical. The official also said SpaceX might extend the limit on Falcon 9 booster flights beyond 20, the number at which Falcon 9s are currently certified for Starlink missions. The limits are lower for flights with customer payloads. SpaceX eventually wants to retire the Falcon rocket family and the Dragon Crew spacecraft in favor of the huge new Starship rocket, a fully reusable vehicle. But that's not happening until SpaceX can prove Starship can reliably haul payloads and people into space, a prospect that is probably more than a handful of years away. The fully reusable rocket is poised to transform the industry, boasting a substantial payload capacity and the potential for cost-effective launches. SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk aims to use the rocket for transporting settlers to Mars, while NASA envisions it as a means to send astronauts to the moon's surface. SpaceX made good but not great progress with the rocket in 2023, but the program with two launches now in the books is in full swing. The coming year should bear witness to even more progress and possibly even attract to low Earth orbit. SpaceX's general manager for Starbase, Kathy Leaders, outlined in a presentation given earlier this month that the firm is planning to increase its Starship launch cadence from Texas rapidly. This process will involve SpaceX and the FAA working together on multiple licensing applications simultaneously, according to Ms. Leaders. SpaceX actually right now is working in updating the data and submitting for our Flight 3 and Flight 4 applications, because we have probably before that SpaceX tends to get the rockets ready and then they're waiting a little while we're going through and getting our eyes dotted and teased crossed on the licensing app. We have been working really hard with the FAA on getting ahead of it and continuing to find ways that we can be able to do multiple license applications at the same time. To be fair to the FAA, we are a unique one first-time commercial spaceport, first time doing experimental flights like this with a huge rocket. We understand that it will take us a little while for us to work through this with them. Imagine the world's most challenging and expensive industry, where every single rocket costs billions of dollars and hundreds of engineers labor for years. This is an arena where private companies rarely dared to venture. Then envision a man stepping forward, promising to transform this elite industry into something more accessible, where rockets could be launched as frequently as airplanes, drastically reducing costs by billions. Furthermore, he proposed making these rockets reusable, a concept that seemed straight out of science fiction. Understandably, this man was met with skepticism and ridicule. After all, everything he proposed from frequent launches to reusability was unheard of at the time. This man was Musk, and the company he founded to make these audacious dreams a reality was SpaceX. His vision for a new era of space exploration, where rocket launches would be as routine as airplane flights, was met with skepticism. But it was Musk's dedication to his vision and SpaceX's relentless drive for innovation that gradually shifted the paradigm. The Falcon 9 rocket is a prime example of their achievement. This launch vehicle has earned the reputation of being the most reliable rocket in existence. And recently, SpaceX achieved a groundbreaking milestone with this rocket, a record that took the industry by surprise. And in this video, we'll explore the details of this remarkable achievement. This historic event occurred at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida on December 23rd. The Falcon 9 rocket's first stage flawlessly executed its latest task, deploying 23 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit, approximately 65 and a half minutes after liftoff. This mission was notable not just for its payload delivery, but also for the booster's safe return. The first stage of the Falcon 9 touched down on the drone ship, just read the instructions in the Atlantic Ocean, a mere eight and a half minutes after launch. This marked its 19th successful landing, an unprecedented feat in the history of reusable rocket technology. The previous milestone of 18 flights for a Falcon 9 booster had been set just last month. Most of the earlier rocket boosters, like I said, were designed for single use. Discarded boosters either burn up in Earth's atmosphere or worse, become space debris. This space debris, consisting of spent rocket stages and other fragments, orbits the Earth at high speeds. It poses a significant risk to operational spacecraft, 
including the International Space Station and future space missions. The recent achievement comes exactly eight years after SpaceX achieved its first ever successful landing of an orbital class rocket. Since then, the company has made significant strides in reusable rocket technology, successfully landing Falcon rockets over 250 times, demonstrating a significant increase in launch frequency over the years. In 2021, SpaceX completed 31 missions, a commendable achievement in itself. However, in 2022, they nearly doubled this feat, successfully executing 61 missions. This rapid increase in launch frequency is a clear indicator of SpaceX's growing capabilities and ambition. For 2024, SpaceX has set an even more ambitious target of 144 launches, almost tripling their 2022 numbers. To achieve this target, SpaceX plans to utilize its diverse fleet of rockets, including the Falcon 9 Falcon Heavy and the much-anticipated Starship. A large portion of the planned launches will likely involve Falcon 9 rockets, which have been instrumental in deploying Starlink satellites, ferrying cargo to the International Space Station, and launching various commercial and government payloads. The Falcon Heavy, known for its higher payload capacity, will also play a significant role in the 2024 launch schedule. While not as frequently flown as the Falcon 9, the Falcon Heavy is crucial for heavier payloads and missions requiring additional thrust. Its unique capability to carry more substantial payloads to orbit makes it an essential part of SpaceX's arsenal for certain specialized missions. However, the most significant development in SpaceX's future launch capabilities is the Starship. The Starship represents the next generation of SpaceX's launch vehicles designed for heavy lift capabilities and eventual human missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. While still in the testing phase, the successful deployment and operation of the Starship would mark a monumental leap in space travel technology. In 2024, SpaceX may begin integrating Starship into its launch roster. As SpaceX's focus gradually shifts from the Falcon family of rockets to the Starship, the impact on the space industry will be profound. The Starship is designed to be fully reusable, not just the first stage, which is the case with the Falcon rockets. This full reusability could dramatically lower the cost per launch and increase the frequency of launches, making space travel more accessible than ever before. The transition to Starship also aligns with SpaceX's long-term goals of interplanetary travel and colonization. With its higher payload capacity and potential for crewed missions, Starship is central to SpaceX's vision of sending humans to Mars. The increased launch frequency using Starship could facilitate the rapid deployment of infrastructure in space, including satellite constellations, space station modules and eventually components for lunar and Martian bases. Furthermore, the shift to Starship will also influence SpaceX's commercial and scientific mission profiles. The ability to launch larger payloads and potentially reduce costs per launch could open new possibilities for scientific missions, including more ambitious space telescopes, deep space probes and interplanetary missions. When compared with other companies and nations, SpaceX's numbers already stand out. Other private space companies and national space agencies typically launch a much smaller number of missions annually. For instance, traditional space powers like NASA, Roscosmos and European Space Agency have historically launched fewer missions per year compared to SpaceX's recent numbers. This contrast highlights SpaceX's unique position in the industry. A significant portion of SpaceX's launches is dedicated to deploying its Starlink satellites. Starlink is an ambitious project aimed at creating a global internet network through a constellation of low-Earth orbit satellites. The project's goal is to provide high-speed internet access across the globe, especially in remote and underserved areas. The sheer number of satellites required for Starlink necessitates a high frequency of launches, contributing substantially to SpaceX's increasing launch numbers. SpaceX's aggressive launch schedule and focus on projects like Starlink signify not just a business strategy but also an overarching vision to transform space travel and global connectivity. Their approach is shaking up the space industry, challenging traditional methods and setting new standards for what can be achieved in space exploration and satellite deployment.